Hey, I had a request to do a review on my Stephen King novels, Kujo and Firestarter. Um, before I start, if you have any more requests on any of the films that I shoot or books, please send me a message or comment. Uh, well, starting with Kujo, do Firestarter um, probably next couple of days. Uh, Kujo was written in 1981. It won a British Fantasy Award in 82 and was made into a film in 83. Um, the plot is set mostly entirely in the town, fictional town, of Castle Rock, Maine. And one of the families there is Vic, his wife Donna, a four year old son uh, Tad. Right, anyway, like in the film, while chasing a rabbit, the dog Cujo get a bite on the nose by a bat. And that's when it all goes terribly wrong. Uh, he basically... Uh, savage everyone, that's the word I'm looking for. Goes round killing and... Um, there is some people who get blamed and while well, they're looking further into investigation a cop goes um, to Chambers house who owns the dog Joe Chambers owns um, Cujo and whilst there Cujo attacks the officer but I'm not going to tell you whether he kills him or not because basically it will spoil it for you if you ever get the book I do find with um, Stephen King's novels the books are more feeling and more deeper than the films. I've recently read um, the book Misery and I absolutely love the film but the book tops it by millions. Yeah, you, you're there, you're seeing it, you're feeling it, it's a major, he's an amazing writer, Stephen King is. He really puts you there so you're like living it and anyway uh, back to Cujo it's the same you know it's more intense it's got more thrill it's got more horror it's got more action than the film not putting the films down all the films are really good but the books are better and at the moment I'm reading Carrie which blew my mind I didn't believe it but it is totally different to the film again and totally a lot better as well and you know, um, I don't know if I mentioned but Cujo is 420 pages long and well I've got it as well and that's from, that's a very thick book I hadn't attempted to start that yet but that's another one I want to I've got a couple of his books on CD as well, auto CDs, or the auto books whatever you call them, uh, which are pretty good as, as well, but like I said there's nothing better than just sitting down relaxing with one of Stephen King's novels and really getting in there and everything else. I've never ever liked reading before until I read one of his books, that's it. Stephen King it got me into reading. But anyway, the story is set mostly entirely in the fictional town of Castle Rock, Maine, like I said. Um, the, the dog do belongs to Kane Camber, Joe Camber, Camber. and um, well, um, like I said he chased a rabbit, get bitten, and um, oh, bit of juicy gossip. Vic's wife Donna, um, they have problems because Donna cheats on him. So, you know, they've got problems on their own with a vicious mooling dog about it. Sort of like, I can't deal with it, sort of thing. Uh, anyway, um, Joe was planning to go to Bolton with one of his friends who is called Gary. Uh, he was a World War Two hero and um, when Joe goes and check on him 
um, he, he finds him dead and then before Joe can get to the phone to call the paramedics, ambulance, whatever, don't know why they do that when they find a dead body, it's a bit pointless really, but never mind. Um, Cujo then attacks him, which again I'm not to say whether he kills him or whether he don't, but it, he get attacked. Um, well, basically what I can remember really, that I say, um, there's a lot about Vic and that he's worried that his wife is not answering the phone at home and contacted the police and the police go to the house and find that it's been trashed and by Steve Kemp and it, which Kemp is the person they think is doing it all but it isn't obviously we all know who it is. And basically, I really can't think what more to say about it. Oh, um, Cujo has a small appearance in the 1980 film Cat's Eyes. And so, uh, you know, if you haven't seen Cat's Eyes and, and you're a big fan of Cujo, then I recommend you get it. That's another quite good film dedicated to a book by Stephen King. And I said, oh, well, the dog is a St. Bernard. I suppose everyone knew that. And basically, well, well, if you get the book, I hope you enjoy it because I know I did. And that's, well, until I do the review. For the fire start, that's all for me. Uh, thank you for for watching. Sorry about the muddled talking and that, but I've never done anything like this before, so I'm a little nervous. I'm a pretty shy person, and well, I'll catch you later.